Okay, we're taking the sand out of the middle and it seems to be holding. We're starting to get some cracks, but that's okay. We'll fill them in and work on it later. All right. Well, I got almost all the sand out and I'm going to let it uh, dry for about a day before I <clears throat> put the first fire in it. Um, I did get just a little bit of sag in the back, but overall I'm pretty pleased with uh, how well it held. Um, looks pretty good. It's amazing how the newspaper, the sand just falls right off of it. And there's the first drying fire. Already starting to kind of dry out on the outside and change color. Do have some cracks, but I've kind of filled them in with dry sand a little bit just to keep it looking nice. So we'll do a few days of these drying fires and then we'll kick up the rocket stove. Well, my smaller fire dried this out pretty well. I'm still doing okay as far as the cracks go, not a lot of cracking, small cracks only. So I fired up the uh, rocket stove. There it is in there. So slight setback with the uh, rocket stove portion. Um, the uh, feed tube here melted. <laughs> I guess I should have used something a little more robust. And um, I had packed sand in around it. And that sand was leaking down in and smothering the fire every time I got one going. So I pulled all that stuff out and cleaned all the most of the sand out and I am going to make up some more more uh, cob mix and pack it in around there which is really what I should have done the first time around. So do it right the first time if you don't want to do it again is the moral of the story there. So I uh, constructed a couple different doors out of wood and then I covered them with foil just to keep the heat off of them, make them last longer. A little makeshift handle with a screw and a piece of scrap wood there. And uh, this door I cut a hole in the bottom so that I could run the rocket stove with it in and try and retain more heat. And then, actually I've been uh, setting a fire brick right there just leaving that little gap. And it seems to work okay. Um, just trying to see if I can get this oven up to temp with just the rocket stove because it doesn't seem to be getting it hot enough so I might have to burn a fire directly in the oven to uh, to fire it. Not the end of the world, I was just hoping I wouldn't have to clean out ashes. Picked up this little doohick on uh, Amazon for 15 bucks. It's an infrared thermometer so I'm going to use it to uh, do the temp in the oven. You just point it and it uh, gives you temperature whatever surface you're pointing at. So, pretty cool. So I've also discovered that the uh, rocket engine is not giving me enough uh, enough heat. So I think I'm just going to have to burn fires directly in the oven. Um, but this seems to work fairly quickly. I've just been burning this fire about 15 minutes and I'm already up over 400 degrees. Well, it looks like we're up to baking temps in just about 25-30 minutes with this thing with the fire directly in there so uh, I guess the rocket stove is a big loser so I think I might keep the rocket stove open just as a supplemental burn but uh, when I'm firing this thing for pizza I'm probably gonna just have to use the fire in the oven which is no big deal and there I built a roof for it. Um, just to use some uh, treated 2x4s and some uh, plywood that I painted on the top just to make it a little weather resistant. I might um, put some roofing on there. But uh, fall is coming so got to make sure that I keep the rain off this thing. Alright, here's the first official cooking fire. I'm going to make me some pizza. And there it is, our first pizza. Probably went a little overboard with the toppings.